Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Today is November 11th, 2022, the day that Bethesda's new game Starfield was originally scheduled to be released. But of course, as many of you already know, earlier this year on May 12th, Bethesda announced that the game would be delayed for an unknown length of time. The stated reason was to polish it up to the new Overlord's er, Microsoft standards. Here we are six months later and we still have no hard date for the release of Starfield, only that it will happen in the first half of 2023, and as we have recently confirmed that it will happen after the release of sister company Arcane's game Redfall. It is quite possible that later on today Bethesda may announce something Starfield related, even the release date, but who knows. And I have to write this stuff ahead of time, you know. Before the delay announcement, I was fully expecting to be doing Starfield-related live streams starting today. So much for that! In place of Starfield, I have decided to mod up Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands and will be starting a weekly Fallout Fridays live stream here on the Dirty Weasel Media YouTube channel. And hopefully you'll join me for the retro-styled fun. We'll be starting today at 7 p.m. Central Time. In the meantime, I figured we could amuse ourselves by speculating on possible release dates for Starfield and then see how close we are. There are a couple of possible tendencies of Bethesda to keep in mind regarding release dates, and we will look at history to aid us to see if those hold true. First off, they usually do releases late in the year to coincide with the holiday buying season. But that's out the window now, now that they've said that it will be in the first half of 2023. Bethesda wanted to play a cutesy number game with a release date of November 11, 2022 or 11 11 22 for Starfield. But is it really a thing that they do? Do they have a habit of clever numerological release dates? Let's fire up the old Wayback Machine Sherman and see what we've got. Starting with Morrowind, May 1, 2002, so 5102, a Wednesday. Fallout 3, October 20th, 2008, so 10 20 08, a Monday. Fallout New Vegas, October 19th, 2009, so 10 19 09, a Monday. Yes, technically it's from Obsidian, but it was still published by Bethesda. Skyrim, 11 11 11, the first true, real yes, they've got number thing going on. And it was a Friday. Obviously, they wanted today for Starfield to go with Skyrim, but I digress. Fallout 4, November 10th, 2015. 11, 10, 15, a Tuesday. Fallout 76, October 23rd, 2018, so 10, 23, 18, a Tuesday. So, from what we see here, that despite many people saying that Bethesda has a habit of picking numerological dates, it is not actually so. Days of the week don't even show a pattern. Tuesday releases in the video game industry go way back, but it isn't really relevant in recent years. Fridays are now more of the standard. But I think that Bethesda slash Microsoft will try to make it a special day to make up for the delay since it is a new IP and they've been hyping it so darn hard. Let's go through some possible dates in the first half of 2023. February 3rd, 2023, so 2323, or 2323. So it's got that number thing going for it, and on a Friday. But in Europe, it would be 3223, since they mix up the month and the day backwards from what Americans do. So a numerical palindrome? 3223? Yeah. Uh, that could work. But it seems a bit early in the year considering they have to squeeze Redfall in during January. March 3rd, 2023. So 3, 3, 23. Double 3. 3, 3. On a Friday. Eh, Machiavelli was born on this day in 1469. Not that most people would know this. Again, a bit early in my opinion. April 12th. 2023, 4-12-23. No number pattern there, and it's on a Wednesday, but but not a deal breaker, as the tie-in would be that it is International Day of Human Spaceflight, as declared by the United Nations. 
Take that for what it's worth. And finally, here's my last one, and this is my own personal prediction. May 5th, 2023. Yep, 5523. Here are the reasons. Number one, May 5th is 55 in America and in Europe, since they swap things around. So we got that numerological thing going on. Number two, it's on a Friday, so they'll get big sales numbers for hitting on the beginning of a weekend. Number three, we celebrate National Space Day here in the US on May 5th of 2023. Obviously a big theme tie-in to go with Starfield. Number four, and just as significant as those reasons given above, May 5th is also the Mexican holiday of Cinco de Mayo, known here as Cinco de Drinco. This is certainly fortunate since we're all going to need to be drunk to the gills to laugh at the inevitable day one bugs Bethesda is famous for. My name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.